how to connect Shopify to Google Merchant Center. Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I will be showing you how you can connect your Shopify store to Google Merchant Center. So let's get into it. Now, Shopify is a great platform to build your e-commerce store if you're looking for a simple way to get started as a beginner with a few products, you can still create an amazing online store with Shopify. And then the Google Merchant Center allows you to show or display your product across Google for free. So this in combination with Shopify can be a great way for you to maximize your sales, to maximize the profits and revenue that you are generating because you will be able to get more eyes on your product with the various different places that Google has adverts or Google has, you know, their own ad placements. So to get started, first off, we need to create our Merchant Center account. So for this, simply search for Google Merchant Center on the basic Chrome bar. Once you search for Google Merchant Center, click on the first link over here and then click on sign up for free. So the first thing with the Google Merchant Center is that you have to sign up. I'm going to sign up with a new account over here. Now, first off, you have to tell about your business. So we sell our product online. Now we're going to click on continue. You have to enter your website link. So I'm just going to click on over here. I'm just going to view my store and then I'm going to copy and then paste it. Now, once you have entered your link, you will click on continue to Merchant Center and then you will enter your business information Then you will continue to your Google Merchant Center over here. Now, there is one thing to note. Previously, Google Merchant Center could only be linked to Shopify via third party applications. However, those third party applications were doing a great job. Recently, Shopify has developed their own Google and Facebook ad uh, platform linking application. However, a lot of people face some errors with that application specifically. So I'm going to show you guys multiple different applications and you can choose the one that you find the best because the official one does have a couple of errors that are still unresolved. So once you have built your Google Merchant Center, you're going to see your products, you're going to see your business, your ad campaigns. So to be able to actually link it and to let it function properly, you need to go into your Shopify store. Now, once you're in your Shopify store, you will find your applications on the bottom left. If you can't find your ad app section, you can even just search for the application over here or just go into apps, click on apps and sales channel, and then click on Shopify app store to open up the Shopify app store. Now, once you are on the Shopify app store, simply search for Google Merchant Center. And now you guys will be able to see this is the Google and YouTube application. This is created specifically for Google Merchant Center and YouTube. This is the official application. However, a lot of the other applications are doing a lot better. They're doing a better job at linking your Merchant Center. So I would recommend that you choose the other applications over the official one simply for the reason that they have been around for longer but the official one also works just fine so once you have installed the application you will click on connect google account choose the account that you have created your merchant center with and then you will click on allow now once you have completed that you will be able to see your product listings and that is your main purpose with google merchant center is that you want to be able to link your products and display them and show them on multiple different platforms where you can illustrate your products in Google directly. Instead of customers visiting your Shopify store, they can even just be browsing on Google and see your product on the right or left side, wherever the ads or placements for Google merchant products are. But when they see those placements, they are going to be viewing free advertising. And that is a great way to promote your product so once you have your google account linked you will be able to see you have multiple different options over here so this account is used to sync with google and youtube and you want to make sure that you're able to finish your setup 
So you guys can see that you have to complete your store requirements. So uh, with that, you want to go back into Google Merchant Center. Make sure to refresh your Google Merchant Center once you have linked your Shopify account. Now, once you do that, you will be able to see your Google Merchant Center. So you can click on uh, your setup section and you can click on open application. And you do have to make sure you're adding all of your information. If it's going to be a little difficult on Shopify, you can just click on manually enter information and you just have to confirm and verify this information. So first off, you want to add your business address. Once you have added your address, you need to verify your phone number. So I'm just gonna verify my phone number and I'll get back to you guys in one second. Now, as I am completing some of my basic little requirements that I have for my Google Merchant Center to be completely activated. So first off is your payment method, your online store. You have to make sure to remove your online password. And if you haven't picked a plan on Shopify, you're not able to remove your password. So make sure you have done that and you're not just in the building phase of your Shopify store. Now, after that, you have to add a refund policy and terms of service. So you want to just click on that and it will even give you a suggested refund policy or, you know, their basic one. So you can just click on turn on and obviously you want to change this into your own refund policy. So let's say I don't offer free return shipping. So I can click on manage over here and in my return policy, let's say I only have a 14 day window and the customer provides the return shipping fee. And I also charge a restocking fee of 4%. Now I will click on save over here. And just like that, we've created our shipping and return policy. Now I can go back into the YouTube and Google section and verify my last part to activate Google Merchant Center on Shopify. So making sure these are added over here. And over here, you just want to make sure that you've entered your terms of service as well and click on save. Once we've done that, let's move on to our next and final section, which is usually the contact information or, you know, the contact verification. So now I have to confirm my contact information. And just like that, our store has now been set up. Now I can click on connect over here to connect with my uh, Google Merchant Center account so my product data will be synced. So automatically all of my products that I've entered on Shopify can be migrated onto Google Merchant Center and this is all you need to do. After that you also have some other options such as your product feed settings, your conversion tracking, but just like that, in a couple of steps, you can get started with Google Merchant Center and the valuable options that they provide in terms of marketing and free business data, free marketing or advertisements for your Shopify store. So if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to help you guys out and I will catch you guys in the next video.